हेलो माय नेम इज सोनाली चोपड़ा वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ अराउंड द वर्ल्ड यू कैन चेंज फ्रेंड्स बट नॉट नेबर्स सेट भारत रत्न एंड फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी दिस स्टेटमेंट होल्ड्स ट्रू इन द रियल्म ऑफ ग्लोबल जियोपॉलिटिक्स एज वेल ऑल दो देयर इज अनदर आस्पेक्ट टू इट Many countries often fail to establish friendly relations with their neighboring nations. A similar scenario can be observed between India and its neighbor Pakistan. Despite gaining independence together, the relations between the two countries remain strained even today. However, there are several international platforms where these two nations inevitably come face to face and they are members of some groups together as well one such group is the sco that is shanghai cooperation organization since pakistan is hosting the sco council of heads of government meeting on the 15th and 16th of october it has extended an invitation to india along with other countries This invitation from Pakistan has once again stirred the pages of the complex relationship between the two nations. In such a scenario, it is only natural to ask, will Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi visit Pakistan for the meeting and where do India Pakistan relations stand at this point? In today's episode, we will delve into these questions. But first, Let's understand what the Shanghai Cooperation Organization is. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization or SCO began as the Shanghai 5 in 1996 comprising China, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia and Tajikistan. The group was initially formed for border negotiations between China and the former soviet republics which had become necessary after the fall of the soviet union in the following years the scope of its regular summits expanded beyond borders and security to include broader issues in 2001 after the expansion of the shanghai 5 the shanghai cooperation organization was established India and Pakistan joined this group in 2017. Last year during a virtual summit Iran became a member and recently Belarus also joined the group. Currently SCO countries are home to about 40% of the world's population account for 20% of global GDP and hold 20% of the world's oil reserves however the sco group also includes two countries that despite being neighbors stand far apart in terms of their relationship india and pakistan pakistan born in 1947 is strategically located at the crossroads of the middle east and south asia It is close to oil rich regions and is situated along some of the world's most important trade routes. From here, it is possible to reach the landlocked countries of the Middle East. Thus, its strategic position is highly significant. On the other hand, India, having endured the pain of partition, has never had cordial relations with pakistan although both countries have made several attempts to improve relations none have been successful now once again the bitterness in the relationship between the two countries has come to the forefront The invitation extended to India for the SCO Council of Heads of Government meeting to be held in Pakistan on the 15th and 16th of October has sparked widespread speculation. 
International experts have made it clear that the Indian Prime Minister will not attend this summit, but the Indian Ministry of External Affairs has not commented on the matter. Notably, the last time an Indian Prime Minister visited Pakistan was in 2015. But why did relations between the two countries deteriorate? Despite several rounds of dialogue, as long as Pakistan continued its attack through terrorism, India gradually began reducing bilateral engagements. After the Pulwama terrorist attack in 2019, India took a tough stance by revoking Pakistan's most favored nation, that is, MFN status, and imposing a 200% import duty on Pakistani goods. India also accused Pakistan of smuggling drugs and weapons into Jammu and Kashmir, financing terrorism and money laundering, leading to the suspension of cross-border trade. Now looking at the trade figures between the two countries, India's foreign trade reached $1.6 trillion in the fiscal year 2022-2023, of which exports to Pakistan were only $627 million, accounting for a mere 0.1% of total exports, and imports were $20 million, representing just 0.003% of India's total imports. Even before the trade restrictions in the fiscal year 2018-19, India exported $2 billion worth of goods to Pakistan, which was only 0.6% of India's total exports. Similarly, India imported $495 million worth of goods from Pakistan, which was 0.096% of total imports. These figures show that relations cannot improve with agreements on the negotiating table while rifles are pointed at the border. Meanwhile, India is poised to become a global power while Pakistan is mired in an economic crisis and reliant on China for assistance. Whether Prime Minister Modi will attend the SCO meeting remains to be seen, but whatever decision India makes, it will carry a significant message for the world, including Pakistan. So viewers, let's pause our discussion here and note today's question. Has Pakistan lost its relevance for India on the global stage? Discuss. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.